Have you ever heard that we only use 10% of our brains? It's a myth that's everywhere. Movies, TV, even self-help books. The idea is tempting. What if we could unlock hidden superpowers just by tapping into the rest? It makes us feel like superheroes in disguise waiting for the right moment to shine. But here's the truth. From a scientific perspective, this idea is completely false. Your brain is not a dormant supercomputer with 90% in sleep mode. In reality, your brain is one of the busiest organs in your body, using about 20% of your daily energy, even though it's only 2% of your weight. Evolution wouldn't waste resources on an organ we barely use. So, where did this myth come from? Likely a misunderstanding of early brain research or maybe a catchy line from self-help gurus. Some scientists once said we only understood 10% of the brain's function and people twisted that into, we only use 10%. Whatever the origin, the myth stuck. But with modern brain imaging, we know better. Every part of your brain has a job, and none of it is just sitting idle. The 10% myth is just that, a myth. So what's really happening inside your head? Let's find out. Here's the reality. You use all of your brain, just not all at the same time. Brain scans show that even simple tasks activate multiple regions. Reading, your occipital lobe processes the letters, your temporal lobe deciphers meaning, and your frontal lobe helps you focus. Playing sports, dozens of areas coordinate movement, balance, vision, and decision-making. Even when you're asleep, your brain is busy. Consolidating memories, cleaning up waste, and keeping your body running. There are no lazy brain cells. Every neuron has a role. Your brain is like a championship team. Different players step up for different plays, but everyone's essential. The myth of unused brain power just doesn't hold up. Instead, your brain is a master of efficiency, always adapting and reallocating resources as needed. Even daydreaming or resting involves complex brain activity, so, you're never just using 10%. You're using what you need, when you need it. The real magic is in how your brain coordinates all these parts seamlessly. It's not about unlocking more, it's about using what you have, smarter. And that's far more impressive. What if you could use 100% of your brain at once? Sounds like a superpower, right? In reality, it would be a disaster. Firing every neuron simultaneously would cause a massive electrical storm, a grand mal seizure. Imagine an orchestra where every musician plays every note at once. That's not music, it's chaos. Your brain works by activating specific areas for specific tasks, while others stay quiet. It's the balance between activity and inhibition that keeps you thinking, moving, and feeling clearly. If all your muscles contracted at once, you'd collapse. The same goes for your brain. Overloading your brain would overwhelm your senses, disrupt your thoughts, and shut down your body systems. Far from unlocking genius, it would be catastrophic. The real secret isn't using more of your brain, it's using the right parts at the right time. Your brain's power comes from coordination, not brute force. So forget the Hollywood version of full brain power. The way your brain works now is exactly how it should. Controlled, efficient, and beautifully orchestrated. That's what keeps you alive and thriving. More isn't better, smarter is better. And your brain is already a master at that. So, what does real brain power look like? It's not about using more, it's about using your brain well. Think of your brain like a high-performance computer. It's the quality of the software, not just the hardware, that matters. Memory, problem-solving, emotional intelligence, and focus. These are the true superpowers. Memory isn't just for facts. It shapes who you are and helps you learn from experience. Problem solving lets you tackle challenges, big or small. Emotional intelligence helps you connect, empathize and build relationships. Focus, your brain's CEO, lets you set goals and stay on track in a world full of distractions. Real intelligence is a balance of logic, emotion and adaptability. The best brains aren't the busiest, they're the most skillful. It's about making connections stronger and more efficient. That's how you unlock your true potential. Want to boost your brain power? Forget myths. Focus on science-backed habits. First, get enough quality sleep. That's when your brain recharges and sorts memories. Next, keep learning. New skills and challenges build new neural pathways. Your brain stays flexible and sharp. This is called neuroplasticity and it lasts your whole life. Move your body. Exercise increases blood flow and releases chemicals that help your brain grow and connect. Even a daily walk can boost mood and memory. Stay social. Interacting with others challenges your brain in unique ways and strengthens emotional skills. Eat well. A diet rich in fruits, veggies, healthy fats and whole grains fuels your brain for peak performance. Combine these habits, sleep, learning, exercise, socializing and nutrition, and you'll see real upgrades. No secret switches, no hidden powers 
just smart, healthy choices. Your brain is ready to grow and adapt. Give it what it needs, and it will amaze you. The real superpower? Taking care of your mind. That's how you thrive. Some real-life brain conditions show that more isn't always better. Take savant syndrome incredible abilities in math, music, or art, but often with big challenges in daily life. Their brains focus intensely on one skill, sometimes at the expense of others. Or consider synesthesia, where senses blend. Letters have colors, sounds have tastes. It can spark creativity but also be overwhelming or distracting. These conditions show the brain's balance is key. Super skills often come with trade-offs. The best brains aren't extreme, they're well-coordinated. It's not about having one superpower but a range of skills working together. That's what makes a brain truly remarkable. Let's retire the 10% myth for good. You're already using your whole brain in a beautifully efficient way. The real goal isn't unlocking hidden powers, it's nurturing the amazing brain you have. Build healthy habits, sleep well, keep learning, move your body, eat right and stay connected. Think of your brain as a garden, it flourishes with care, not force. You don't need to use more, you need to use it wisely. The adventure is making the most of what you've got. Share the truth, your brain is already extraordinary. No secret switches, just smart choices. The challenge is to use your brain as wonderfully as you can. That's the real superpower.